Hi, I'm your instructor for SCADA and PLCs. What we're looking at today is we just finished doing the OR logic, which this is the OR logic for the ladder logic for our micro 500 and, or 850 um, Rockwell design PLC. Now to get that, I know I didn't show you this the first time, so I'm wanting to make sure you had this, the knowledge of how to get this. So basically you go under tools and then you click on Micro 800 Simulator. Now there's a config of how to all do this and I have uh, the paperwork to do that in um, the, the module. So you can look through that paperwork. If that's not enough, we can make sure we ha I have a tutorial for you to do that step by step. But basically, we, right now we have the module at this point. It won't work without you turning on the module. So you need to actually turn on the module to start out with. So I always start in program mode, and then I go to run only for a short amount of time because you only have 10 minutes in the run mode. Otherwise it'll fault and you'll have to rotate through this again several times until it gives you that warning and then it will clear the fault. Now, why this is is because the PLCs actually will reset themselves to different programming based on the RTUs. The RTUs will actually send out programming and then that will only last for a certain cycle time frame, and then it'll recycle through that, and it'll go through these cycles fairly often. <clears throat> and that's actually how the RTU and PLC works as a master slave. You most of the time it can go peer to peer, but most of the time it's actually a master with the RTU and then a slave with the uh, PLC. Okay, so what we're doing, we have it on right now. It's not programmed and it actually has the old program in it. And we can see this because, oh, actually it doesn't have anything in it right now. So um, we're not seeing anything in the program. So why we can tell that is when we put in any logic in here, it's not really doing anything. And so we know that it's not programmed. So we need to get this program into the PLC. To do that, to actually go back to the PLC and uh, we're in program mode. We have to then go back to the ladder logic and we have to actually click on right up here, download. Okay, and it should, yep, if it kicked me out of the actual viewing startup and it's just taking time. Um, right now it's one of those things I'm like, well, is it really doing running anything in the background? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this through. And there's a reason I did that again. Okay. It now gives me a download project and values. That's what I want. Okay. So now downloading, it says it's downloading right here. It does actually have an active button down here. It, it, it's going through this green screen and going through this green bar, kind of like a bar. And that indicates that it just, it just started to download. It now has said that it's successfully downloaded and had no failures or anything like that. So what we can then do is we can go back to the rung and that looks good, but it's not orange or yellow. Well, we want it to be yellow. So we want to actually upload. And then now we're going to upload these logical values with logical values. You want to upload it with the values that are set. And so unable to connect. Okay, so this is giving me an error. Um, let's go ahead and rotate through this. I know this sounds silly, but let's do that a couple times. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into the program mode. I'm gonna hit upload now and see if it works. So we have downloaded it, we just have not uploaded it so far. And upload with values. That's working the way we want it to. It's doing something right here in the background. It's saying start to upload to resource one. This is, takes a lot of time. It's already taken about five minutes, four or five minutes to do this. And so now it is starting to upload. We're now actually getting the circular mouse button, which means that it's up to uploading. Um, okay, so 
At this point, I, I can't really do anything else but wait for it to upload. Okay, I believe it did upload. So I was gonna go back to my ladder logic if it'll let me. It said the upload had succeeded. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead. I want to see the ladder logic to make sure that it actually turned yellow or orange or gold to basically suggest that it did that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to my programs and I'm going to go actually program one and hit OK. Now you can see I hit the right click on the open on program one. Now this is gold. So now we know for sure that it has uploaded this uh, or, or logic or gate or or logic. And so now what we can do is we can go back to this and then we can go ahead and we can hit this. That worked. That was zero, zero. One should do that and both of them should do that. And it is, this is, okay. So something, oh, there's a fault. See, that should work, but that we have a fault. We need to read what the fault is. Program exceeded the time for the, the watchdog timer. So, so the answer to this is it's more than just the fault here. Uh, what we're seeing is, again, we're going to need to change the priority and some of the other things. So control alt delete, sorry, control alt delete. And then I'm going to go into, into the task manager. Now we're going to go back down. We're going to look for M. So the reason we do this is not just, it's not, I mean, it's not just like clicking on buttons and stuff like that. What we're actually doing is we're wanting to assign priority to those people who um, does need to know the information that we're working on. So I, I did the first, I, I did, clicked on that and then I went into, now I'm going into affinity. So the need to know basis, we only want zero PC and one PC to be working on this. We're gonna take all the other PCUs out. And so it's kind of a need to know basis. It's kind of a security check, just security sweep, whatever you wanna say. We now only have two doing that. Now we, we could right click and we could also set the priority and we could put it to real time. I don't think the priority makes much of a difference on the simple program, but I'm gonna close out. Okay, I'm gonna refresh again until it gives us that warning, there we go. Okay, so let's try this again. So if we go zero, zero, we get a, a point. If we go zero, one, we get a point. And if we put both of those, we get a point. And so that worked the right way now. And we can actually take our time again, zero, zero. This is the green one. It goes and then goes to the output. We have the output here. If we look at this one, this one's zero, one. Okay, that goes to the output. That's the output. Okay, if we have them both on, they both should be green. They both are green. And then that goes to the output there. And so now we have an OR logic. We have OR. So OR works with any any input contact that you have that is um, closed will then go through and make a, uh, a output logic that works. So that's what we have is we have an output that works with any input. Okay, so that's the oral logic. We'll go ahead and we'll do some others later. I hope you uh, learned a little bit about the PLCs, ladder logic, and a little bit about scaling.